early morning. I'm actually heading to South Longwa National Park. I'm so excited because it's going to be a safe drive safari. in the middle of nowhere. Look. I love the bush so much. This landscape is everything I love in Africa. The bush, the African bush. The South Luangwa is Zambia's most famous safari destination, even though I feel completely alone. Compared to other parks in Africa, this is the first time I'm driving for a couple of hours and there is absolutely no other cars around. It gives me the peace and the silence to contemplate the unique beauty of this park, its open and grassy plains, its mesmerizing woodlands, and its busy and attractive Luangwa River. A mess. I left like a fugitive. <laughs> this is all the food for the day. And this is where I am. Let's keep going.
This is everything I like. Literally everything I like. Um, there is something in Africa unexplainable. I say that all the time, but this is so true. And I don't know like how I'm going to feel when I'm going to one day maybe leave Africa. I don't even want to think about it. It's just incredible. Like you can't imagine the sensation just being here in the African bush, just the sound of the animals around and you know, you feel, I personally feel alive and free. I love the sensations. So now it's time to eat. Those bananas are so delicious. Mm. So good. Oh my gosh. Known to locals as simply the South Park, it was initially founded as the Luangwa Game Park in 1904. The impressive South Luangwa covers an area of about 9,050 square kilometers of the Luangwa Valley. Largely unaffected by men, this area of incredible natural wonder beckons you to explore. And trust me, this stunning game rich park has become my favorite in Africa. of uh, garlic. I like garlic so much. Exactly the same rhythm. He's eating. I'm eating. <laughs>
The tracks are very narrow in this part of the park, and although I was driving between 5 and 10 kilometers per hour, this herd of elephants still surprised me. And obviously, I surprised them. And when it happens, I just reverse a few meters away, I switch the engine off, and I start talking to them. I do believe that a calm voice and behavior reflect your pure intentions so the elephants can feel these good vibrations. This one got a bit scared though, that's why I got a clear warning. I just keep talking, with constant and calm vibrations in the tone of my voice, which also calms me to be honest. I'm back to the village because I need to buy some data for my internet. I need to go to the shop so I can get these special coupons to top up some credit. But I need to be quick because I have to be back to the camp before dark. And the sun has already decided to retire. <laughs> 